Today, I'm going to be maxing out my mine, and I'm also going to be maxing out my mining skill so I can start earning block tickets. And if you want to know the fastest way to do this, then stick around because I will be showing you guys in today's episode. But let's just get right into the video. We are here in the mine now, and I'm going to be showing you a few different things you can do to progress your mine faster and get your mining skill up, as well as getting your pickaxe maxed out as fast as you can. The first thing you want to do is you want to try to get a pet if you can. Try to get a holy excavator pet and a skill pet. These are the two pets that help you get your skill up the fastest. Because right now, this is like the pickaxe that you start off with. I have a really good pickaxe pickaxe right here but this is the one you, everyone starts off with and it's obviously not very good at the start and to get your pickaxe better you have to get books and there's also a different pet for books and it is called the book finder pet so if you can get one of these as well that is really good for finding books you probably want to use this one in the start and basically how you get these pets is through pet eggs you can get these for free through the battle pass or by voting and once you vote you can get free wheel spins so i'm going to go ahead and vote and try to get some wheel spins to show you if i get one but if you are lucky enough you can get a free pet egg so i'm just going to go vote real quick and then i'm going to come back when i have my wheel spin okay so i just voted on all of the links so if i do slash vote we now have eight wheel spins and as you can see from this spin there's no pet eggs passing by but we are going to get a free booster from the next one there's none okay in this one there's one passing by but i don't think i'm gonna get it uh sadly we did not get it but it did pass by so you know that they're in there okay this is our last wheel spin we did just get a free mining robot which is really good but sadly i don't think we're gonna get any pet eggs yeah rest in peace we did not get any pet egg but we did get some free chat colors and some mining eggs so if you want to get like a free chat color or any free cool stuff the wheel spins are very overpowered so definitely go ahead and give them a try but i'm gonna be trying to get another skill pet hopefully we can get a mythical one i'm gonna open these two supernova clusters just to try to get some more pet eggs okay from the final reward from this one we got a booster and we got two villager spawners from that one no pet eggs sadly though but let's just go ahead and open this normal pet egg and hope to get a skill pet there's a lot of different pets so the likelihood of getting a skill pet is kind of low and we just got a book finder pet but book finder pets once again they are really good if you're just starting because they help you get books faster and if you get books faster you can max out your pickaxe a lot faster so a book pet is still really good really quickly i'm gonna mine for a second and try to get a book just to show you what they're like and how you can unlock them so i'm just gonna go mine for a few seconds and i'll be right back okay so i've literally been mining for like 10 seconds and we already have a book so if you hover over the book it says 41 out of 618 and that is how many blocks you have to get mined to unlock the book right now we are pretty low on that because i just got it also my mining skill just leveled up and from that we got a 42.9 percent book finding boost because i'm pretty high level so the boosts are pretty good so that'll make me find books a lot faster and that's another thing thing you want to keep a look on is your mining skill because these can give you some really good boosts at the start it's not too good but whenever you get like up to probably past level 15 or even past level 10 they're getting really good like six percent three percent so you really want to make sure you're leveling up your skill obviously you get that through mining and the first few levels are pretty easy but it gets harder as the higher level you get and i got told that like the last few levels are extremely hard like they take a long time like you have to mine like 30 or 40 minutes for one level when you're at like level 50 but i'm gonna see if that's true because we are gonna be getting the max level in today's episode also if you look at the top of my screen where the boss bar is you can see it says momentum so if you mine for long enough you can get a mining boost which makes you just mine faster so if you mine for long enough the highest boost you can get is a 40 percent boost so if you have a bad pickaxe you can still mine pretty fast if you get that 40 percent boost you just have to mine for quite a while to get that but we did get this book unlocked we actually got two books unlocked so i'm gonna go to warp enchanter and we're gonna unlock these two books and the first enchant i would recommend going for is efficiency and you also want to go for precise mining i didn't get either of those from those books but we're gonna see if we can get one from this one but precise mining and efficiency just make you mine a lot faster just like this right here precise mining we got so if you do slash enchants it says it works similar to efficiency but gives you an additional boost so if you have precise mining plus max efficiency that is how you instantly mine the blocks but i'm just gonna go ahead and apply these to the pickaxe just to show you how to do it so all you have to do is right click tim the enchanter click your pickaxe to put it in there and then click your book and then you can choose from three different options i would honestly just always go with the enchant option three because you have the highest percent unless the option Option two and three are pretty close like this one option two is 78 percent and option three is 81 percent so it's only like two percent more but i would still just always go with the third one just so we have the highest chance but just like that we just got the enchant applied and do with this as many books as you can until you have the max enchant on that one for instance precise mining's max level is five and efficiency is five and once you get both of those maxed out you're going to instantly break all your blocks just like my max out pickaxe i'm actually going to go to the mine real quick and show you what my pickaxe looks like so this is what it looks like when it breaks it's literally just instantly breaking all the blocks so efficiency is once again definitely one of the first enchants you want to go for but if you have max efficiency and all your enchants are pretty good you want to equip a skill pet this will help you get your skill tree up faster if you do slash skills this is what it gets faster right now i'm currently at like level 41 my next upgrade is at level 45 and i get emerald ore unlocked that shouldn't take too long but i'm just gonna go mine i'm gonna go see how long it takes to get my emerald mine unlocked at level 45 so i'm just gonna cut back to whenever i get that unlocked okay so one thing i actually forgot to do is upgrading my pets so i'm gonna deactivate them both and then i'm gonna go to do 
slash pets. And then I'm going to actually focus on the excavator pet because this one's like really good for me. So I'm just going to upgrade it to like level 10. Actually, let's go to level 15. Oh, we're broke now. Now we're still pretty rich in gym. But let's go over to the skill pet now. Let's get this one as well to level 15. There we go. So we're getting a 25% skill boost as well as an 8.5% proc chance on the holy excavator pet. It's mythical rarity. Then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the holy excavator pet a little bit more. I'll get that to like level 20. There we go. Now I have like no more gyms left. We have 50k gyms left only. But we have 11% proc chance for the holy excavator pet now. So it should proc a ton more. And we should be ranking up our skill a ton more now. Holy excavator pet just helps a ton. So overall, right now we're at like level 42 or 43 on the skills, I think. Yeah, we're at level 42. I'm just going to go ahead and cut back again to whenever I get level 45 and get the emeralds unlocked. Okay, so I forgot to record it, but my mind did reach level 45. So now we're on all emeralds finally. It took forever, but it was a lot faster than the earlier ones because I did have my skill pet activated and it gives me a 25% boost as well as I activated my excavator pet a ton. So excavator going off a lot made it a lot faster than it was before. Probably took around like only like five or 10 minutes per. So it was very, very fast compared to what the previous levels took, but we should be getting a lot more money right now. And I can go ahead and put my diamond satchel up because I'm not going to be needing to use that anymore, but I'm going to go ahead and max out my emerald satchel as much as I can at least. All right, there we go. We're going to upgrade it and we're just going to spend the rest of my gyms on it. So now we can have 4,000 items stored in that satchel. So I don't have to sell my inventory as much. And we also have a ton of keys saved up. Like if I go over here to my PV10, we literally have like close to 10 stacks of these. So I have nine and a half stacks right now. And all I need now is to max out my mining skill completely. And then we're going to be 100% complete with the mine and we'll be able to start making block tickets finally. That is the last thing. And it also looks like instead of just emerald blocks, we're also getting like the ingots. They're not called emerald ingots, but like, you know what I'm saying? Just like the normal emeralds, not the ore. And those sell for a lot more. Because if I check out the shop, yeah, the sell price on that is $120. The sell price on the emerald ore is only 35. So whenever I'm getting emeralds, it's selling for a ton. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and mine until I get level 53 or 52 on my mining skill, which will be the max. Let's just go ahead and check that out real quick. And the last few levels give a ton of boosts. 55% right here and 62 on the last one. So I'm going to be making so many gems. And the very final level, level 52, we'll have the ability to find block tickets. And block tickets are like the best thing on the server. They sell for so much. And they also let your island level go up. So I'm probably just going to be using them myself instead of actually selling them. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and mine until I get level 52 on my mine. I'm going to set a timer and see how long it takes. So I will be right back in probably like an hour or something. So I will see you guys then. And just like that, finally, after like over an hour of mining, we finally got level 52. So we're going to be able to start making block tickets. I don't know how common it is. Hopefully it's pretty common. Hopefully I can get a lot of them pretty fast because like block tickets are very good. And I really want to get my island level up quite a bit because right now we are slacking. We're like number 50 something. Like if I check IS top right now, yeah, we're number 51. So we're not even close to top 10, but I hope that changes pretty soon. And just like that, we got our first block ticket. Let's just go ahead and see what we get from our first one. Okay, we got a diamond value block. So I'm gonna go to my island and I'm gonna go ahead and place these. There we go. Now our island should be going up a little bit in value. Obviously it's not gonna go too much because it was just one block, but I'm just gonna go to my mine again. And also if I check my player vault, we have over 13 stacks of cloud keys. So I'm gonna go ahead and open all my cloud keys because we're also gonna get some block tickets from that. So I'm gonna go open all these keys off camera because it take way too long to do it on camera. But if you look at my money right now, I have $30 million. So we're gonna see how much we get after all these cloud keys. And we also were gonna get some block tickets from it. So we're gonna see how many block tickets we can get and how much island value can go up but yeah i'm gonna go open all these off camera real quick and i will be right back and just like that i got done opening all my keys and we got over a stack of block tickets we got a mining robot we also got some chunk hoppers i threw away all the common ones because we don't really need those but the rare ones are all right and then i got a few ranks and we went from like 30 million all the way up to 47 million so i'm gonna go to my island real quick i'm gonna go ahead and place this robot over here actually can't place it quite yet but let's just go ahead and redeem all these block tickets we can only roll 25 at once but i'm gonna roll all these and there we go we only got one spot block out of all those but we got five hay bales 14 emerald blocks 20 diamond blocks eight beacons and 22 golds so our island value right now is 1.5 million and it just went up over a hundred thousand in value just from like about an hour of mining but i'm gonna go mine for like an hour and see how many block tickets i can get just from mining because i don't know exactly how much i can get but we're gonna go ahead and find out because i don't know how often you get block tickets but yeah i'm just gonna go mine and i will come back in about an hour and see how many block tickets we have and also how many keys we get in an hour just so you guys know and also how much money we get because right now we're at 47.8 million and in one hour hopefully we're quite a bit more than that actually i'm gonna go ahead and go to the shop and i'm buy as many iron golem spawners as i can with this 45 million dollars okay it looks like i can buy 27 iron golem spawners so our money is reset now i'm gonna place all these iron golem spawners we're actually gonna need to start a new row i might need to make two separate spawner farms in a little bit but we should start making a ton more money now right now there's already 800,000 saved up just from a, like probably 15 minutes or 20 minutes of afking so my farm's doing really good but if 
I go ahead and look in the hopper, like once in a while it gets filled up, which makes it like not be able to go all in the auto cell chest. So I'm going to have to make two separate grinders pretty soon, but I'm just going to go ahead and go to the mine now and I'm going to go mine for an hour. So I'll see you guys in one hour. Okay. So I've been mining for one hour now and we got over a stack of block tickets and we also got almost three stacks of cloud keys and you can get more block tickets from the cloud keys. And we also got around $8 million and we also got a ton of gyms. So we're going to see how high we can get our island value. So I'm going to go to my island and we're going to open the keys and we're going to see how many more block tickets we can get from those keys i'm gonna go ahead and do slash crates and just open everything here and after that we got 10 extra block tickets so i'm just gonna go ahead and open all these block tickets hopefully we get lots of hay and sponges because those are the most valuable especially the hay blocks so they're worth 10,000 each we should get around maybe 50 to 70,000 from all this i'm pretty sure but let's just go ahead and open the rest and yeah we're gonna get way past we're probably gonna get closer to 100,000 from all this the sponges is 40,000 the hay is 40,000 all these beacons are worth 20,000 so that's already 100,000 the emeralds made it 180 18,000. So in total, we added 143,000 value. So it should be around 2.25 million, I think now, once it updates. We also have some more spawners to add to our farm. Really quickly, I'm going to make these spawners into two different spawner things, just because this one's overfilling a little bit. So I'm going to do that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I just made two separate grinders. These ones are for iron golem, blazes, pigs, and villagers. These ones are for magma creams, chickens, cows, and creepers. And then this one over here is for zombie pigmen. And the reason zombie pigments are alone is because they drop gold nuggets, which take up a lot of space in the hopper which can like flood it just like that they took up all five spaces and this is how much is putting in the chest so that is the reason why the zombie pigment are alone then over here we have everything else so i should be making a ton more money since it's not going to be flooded by zombie pigment also i revamped my mining robot section over here it used to be just like this and it was like huge it was kind of annoying to claim them because you had to fly up and it was just difficult but now we have them set up like this it's a lot easier and i can extend it as much as i want so that's going to be really helpful in the future and it's going to be a lot easier to claim the gyms and xp from it and they're right next to each other but our island value has gone up almost double this episode so it's pretty high right now but i'm probably going to do a lot of farming off camera and try to get a ton of block tickets and a ton of money and stuff and improve my spawners a lot if you have any suggestions for videos you want to see just leave it in the comments but that is going to be it for the video so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time